DJ C A Y N E, that's me, back again with another video. Make sure to go cop the hats, DJ C A Y N E dot com, DJ K. Ooh, hiccups, excuse me, dot com. Happy Sunday. It's hot. We in triple digits in Dallas, Texas, man. It's crazy. But anyway, I made a post talking about if a celebrity walked in on your gig, would you change your entire set to please them? Now, of course, I'm not saying every single song, but would you start playing a majority of their stuff to kind of please them because they walked in the room? And the exa example I used was Lil Wayne. So peep this. Let's say you're doing a house music set, country, EDM, Latin, old school hip hop. I don't know, whatever. And the artist walks in and has the total opposite of what you're playing. Would you start playing more of their stuff to kind of please them? Would you? My answer is no, I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't feel obligated to. You know what I mean? I know a lot of y'all feel like you're obligated to do that, but I don't feel like I'm obligated to do that, okay? Uh, I feel like the artist that walks in, first of all, they tired of hearing their stuff. <laughs> if y'all been around, look, I've been around artists before, and when they go out to clubs after they, especially if an artist is seasoned, they tired of hearing their stuff in the club. Unless they're promoting like a new song, like if it was Lil Yachty and he had Holster that just dropped, yeah, he probably want to hear it because he wants to see that track grow, you know, grow its roots. But if it's like, you know, Jaw Rule or something like that, bro, they tired. I guarantee they may, but a lot of people is tired of hearing that shit over and over, right? Now, to, and I forgot the dude's name, but to one of, uh, to his response in the comments, if you mixed it in, like took the vocals out and put it over some different beat and got creative with it, oh man, that that's cool. Like making it into something different using stems or whatever, that's cool, you know. But other than that, you sh you're not obligated to do it. But to Faz's point and DJ Caution's point, yeah, show them some love. Show them some love. You know what I'm saying? But just don't go overboard doing it, you know, because let's be honest. In this DJ game, entertainment, whatever, you got to show love to get above. Ooh, don't steal that one. You have to show love to get above in this game. So you have to pay your respects or whatever to get where you want to be. Um, sometimes. But, yeah, man, the whole purpose behind that post was self worth in yourself as a dj do you value value yourself as an awesome amazing stellar you know dj and i feel like you should this is your night you're the guy on the flyer you're the one that's promoting it now unless they told you they were coming ahead of time cool but other than that you're the dj you're the guy that's promoting this is your night you should feel special because Without the DJs, none of these records would really be popping like that. I mean, you got TikTok, but in social media, but cool, that's awesome. As far as that, they still have to go to a DJ to play at venues and concerts and whatnot. We're the foundation of music getting to the consumers. You can rap in the studio all you want. You can be on your track Pro 800 making all the dopest beats you want. It still means jack squat if it's not in the decks of the DJs. And this is one reason why DJs need to get paid more. Y'all need to stop undercutting DJs because whatever. That's another video. But um, have some self-worth. And you know what's funny is I ran across a video. And this is an older video. Y'all probably seen this. But y'all remember when Travis Scott was slamming his this laptop during this concert? This is crazy. Let me pull this up real quick. Travis Scott. So I, I ran across this video again. I don't know why. It's just something I wanted to bring on this episode. But check this out. What is that shit? That's ridiculous. That controller is badass though, by the way. I don't know. But, bro, look, are you really going to let people take advantage of you like that? Like, what the hell? See, look, uh, most of y'all, if y'all saw a celebrity like that walk in there and he started slamming on your laptop or your desk, y'all be like, 
<laughs> that's just trial. <laughs> that's just trial. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to tell that nigga, like, chill out. Like, chill, bro. Chill. What you doing? Like, but again, because it's somebody famous or whatever, a lot of y'all be like, oh, man. Man, he's so funny. He just fucking spilled drink all over my shit. Like, I know his insurance is going to help pay for it, but <laughs> I'd be like, bro, chill your ass. Calm your ass down, bro. What the? What is wrong with you, bro? Now, look, me saying that to him, he might either swap my arm away, he might cuss me out, or he might say, oh, my bad, bro, my bad, my bad. Any Out of any of those scenarios, at the end of the day, he's going to respect me, bro. I don't care if he never booked me again, whatever. I don't give a damn. He's going to respect me. He's not going to respect y'all. That y'all are going to be little dogs on the leash or whatever, but he will respect me because I spoke up because it's like, yo, don't slam my laptop. Like a lot of y'all f- are scared to talk to people who y'all feel are whatever because you don't want to ruin your credentials. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you have to know at the end of the day, these people will respect you for speaking up. They will respect you. Real bosses respect people who are assertive, um, especially about their expensive. These laptops ain't cheap. You know what I mean? And even if it was your laptop, you smacking my table, messing up my stuff. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, bro. Have some self-respect. You know what I mean? And I know I kind of got off on a tangent, but yeah, man. Show people love, but don't feel like you're obligated to bow down and cowtail for other people just because they are somewhat more accomplished than you okay you're a dj bro you're awesome i love you you know if you haven't heard that today look i love you bro and hopefully that you keep up the hard work my good my good brother my good sister and keep pushing out dope beats man keep thriving bro you know show love when you if you want to do what you got to do but just don't let people take advantage of your set of your equipment of your whatever don't let people take advantage of you okay be your own man that's what my dad always tells me be your own man and at the end of the day look you're not going to please everybody and you shouldn't you shouldn't try to please everybody because the type of people that get out here to try to please everybody again they're not respected it's your boy dj kane man i love y'all Keep up the good work, all my DJs, man. I rock with y'all. Peace out. Yay! One, two, three.